in addition to enabling additional security features, uh, you'll also want to make sure that all of the applications installed are up to date. Um, I know it seems odd to wait until the end of a tutorial to suggest updating software. Um, however, in theory, your software should already be up to date at this time because you will have just downloaded the Raspbian image, which should be up to date already, and the packages that we just installed should be current as well. Um, just know that you should update your Pi as you start a new project. Um, after updating, just make sure nothing was broke during the update. Unfortunately, it does happen. Uh, the easiest way to update the Pi, to get it as close as possible to what is available in the downloadable image file, um, is to use the command uh, dist upgrade, which is sudo apt get dist upgrade. Um, and, I, and I will say I typically add a minus Y here uh, to the end of that command so that I can initiate the command and step away. Uh, the minus Y tells the system that yes, I want to accept all modifications to the system. Sure, that could be dangerous, but sometimes I just can't be bothered to sit at the computer all afternoon while it downloads updates. So as soon as you press the enter key, it's going to go out, check to see if there are any updates to any packages that are currently installed on the computer, and it will start to download those and install them. And since we use the minus Y, whatever default options um, that it would normally ask us, it will go ahead and apply those default options. And it looks like I've got quite a bit of updates here. Uh, that's primarily because I'm actually working from an, a little bit of an outdated copy of Raspbian myself. Um, I'm working from a September copy and it's November, so there's been a few updates. I'm glad I saw this before I closed out of all of the recording programs. Um, in some cases, whenever you do a um, operating system update, if there is a configuration file that it would like to overwrite, um, it typically will prompt you if you would like to do that. Um, in this case, it says the default action is to keep your current file, and it's in reference to that dhcpcd.com file uh, that we edited earlier. And so we definitely want to keep the file that we edited earlier, so we're simply going to say no here and press enter and let it continue installing packages 